Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Dutch government suddenly decided not to disclose ASML's sales data of lithography machines to China. This abnormal move was regarded as a fig leaf by the industry. Data shows that ASML's sales to mainland China account for 42% of its total revenue, but under pressure from the United States, its high-end equipment exports are restricted, resulting in an estimated 20% of revenue to China in 2025. Behind this policy swing, ASML's deep anxiety is reflected it must cater to the US ban, but it cannot give up the Chinese market. The attractiveness of the Chinese market is obvious. In the global semiconductor capacity expansion, mainland China leads with a growth rate of 13%, and the production capacity of mature process chips has accounted for 30% of the world, and the demand for lithography machines continues to be strong. ASML's financial report shows that the gross profit margin of immersion DUV lithography machines in the Chinese market is significantly higher than the global average. Losing this market will directly impact its profitability. The Collapse of the Technological Myth In the past decade, ASML has become the ultimate gatekeeper in the field of chip manufacturing by virtue of its technical monopoly of EUV lithography machines, extreme ultraviolet lithography machines. An EUV device contains 100,000 parts and integrates the world's top technologies, which once made the global chip industry far behind. But this situation is changing. The Chinese industry has broken through the 28 nanometers immersion DUV lithography technology. The Krypton fluoride lithography machine has achieved a resolution of 110 nanometers, and the argon fluoride lithography machine has achieved a precision of 65 nanometers, which is close to the international mainstream level. The Kirin 9020 chip equipped with Huawei Mate 70 series has a performance experience comparable to the 4 nanometers process, proving the breakthrough of Chinese companies in the non-EUV route. Through multiple exposure technology, Chinese companies use ASML's mid-range equipment, such as 1980Di, to produce chips close to the 7 nanometers process. Although the cost is higher, it breaks the conclusion that no EUV is not advanced. This ability of homemade steelmaking greatly reduces the effect of technological blockade. ASML's Survival Strategy Faced with the dual pressures of China's technological progress and market demand, ASML's strategy has undergone a subtle shift. The Dutch government recently approved the export of a more advanced 2000i model DUV lithography machine to China. This equipment can achieve 7 nanometers process through multiple exposures which is more competitive than the previously restricted 1980Di. This is obviously ASML's window period action to seize the Chinese market, that is, to accelerate the sale of mid-range lithography equipment. After the United States forced the ban, ASML's EUV lithography machine encountered a shortage of orders, and demand from major customers, such as TSMC and Samsung was weak, 
While the DUV demand brought about by the expansion of mature processes in the Chinese market became their life-saving straw. ASML executives said frankly, if we lose the Chinese market, we will have nowhere to sell. Do you still dare to say the gap of 15 years? ASML once asserted that China's lithography technology was 15 years behind, but reality gave a different answer. China took five years to increase its chip production capacity from 10% to 30% of the world, and the breakthrough speed of key lithography technology was far beyond expectations. China's chip foundry price is only 60% of that in Taiwan, and the low price strategy is reshaping the global supply chain. Huawei and other companies have achieved performance leaps in mature processes through architecture optimization and algorithm upgrades, proving that process is not the only track. The Netherlands recently stated that it will decide its export policy to China on its own, which further implies the wavering of the Western camp on technology blockade. In other words, the outcome of this game is actually clear. ASML's compromise has become a market survivor, accelerating the sale of equipment to China to maintain revenue. China's domestic attempts have built a rural surrounding the city technology ecosystem through mature process scale plus cutting-edge technology breakthroughs. An American companies such as Texas Instruments in the United States have turned to the Russian market due to unsaleable chips, exposing the backlash effect of the blockade policy. As ASML's CEO said, if you only focus on your opponent, you have already lost. When Chinese companies used DUV equipment to make 7 nanometers chips, the balance of victory in this competition had already tilted. The wave of technological independence is irreversible, and ASML's anxiety is precisely for this reason. In short, the Netherlands banned the disclosure of ASML's sales data to China, ASML's high-end equipment exports were restricted by U.S. pressure, China broke through DUV lithography technology, ASML's strategic shift accelerated the sale of mid-range equipment to China to survive, China's chip production capacity increased significantly, the wave of technological independence is irreversible, and ASML is anxious,